Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Marion. Give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you grabbed a snack, stayed for a while, and click the subscribe button. I would love to have you. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So as you can tell by the title of the video, my beauty lish order is here. So we're going to play around with the goodies that I purchased. It's only three and then I got a small little free sample of a mascara. So um, if you want to hear what my thoughts are on these new Beautylish goodies, which includes the Ciroc concealer and a couple of the new Kevin Aquan stick uh, formulas, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, hair is pulled back and I did go in to the Danessa Myrick's Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. I skipped on the tint. I honestly, it's been a minute since I've picked this up. I did really enjoy it. So I really just need to enjoy this one more before I pick up the tint. <laughs> okay, so the main reason I placed an order from Beautylish is because of the new Kevin Aquan releases. I did not purchase everything. I only went ahead and purchased the Color Stick Blush and the Contrast Stick Contour. So I picked up one of each. I did get a free sample of his mascara, which is great. Another item I get to add to try out for this video. And then this I have already tried, but I went ahead and ordered a different shade because the ones that I have are too light. So Surat, they contacted me um, after I had already placed my order for the new Dewdrop Concealer. Send over some for me. Um, the shades I picked are way too light. So I picked up shade number six and I'm hoping this is a better one now that I have a darker shade I'm hoping I can really test it out and use it so that I can tell you my 100% true thoughts on this concealer. I loved it when I did my review, so we'll see if I'm going to love it again today. I already did a full-on review on this concealer, so I'm not going to focus too much on it. It is a twist up, kind of like the Charlotte, um, is it the Magical Way concealer? Don't love that, but yeah, it just, it is what it is. First impressions, I really did love the formula. Very lightweight. So I'm hoping now that I have a more appropriate shade, I can use it more. I think I only used shade four twice and it's just a tiny bit too light. I'm just gonna end up probably gifting that to my sister. She's a lot more pale than I am. She's on the lighter side. You know, for this being only two shades darker, it's actually pretty, pretty darker, isn't it? But I think this shade is a good shade. I probably could have gone with five, but it's fine. It's pretty lightweight. It pretty much just blends into your skin, honestly. Okay, this is the Sonia G Mini Base. I'm going to, I don't even tell you what shade. For the Danessa Myricks 7N, it's a tiny bit light for me right now. It's blending right in to my skin. I really did enjoy it when I first tried this concealer out. And that's why I went ahead and just purchased with my own money a correct shade so I can really get good thorough thoughts on this concealer. But I have a feeling I'm going to end up loving it. It reminded me of the new Makeup Forever concealer. It does that exactly. Okay, we're looking pretty pelt day <laughs> but here is a swatch of shade six for the Surat dewdrop concealer i would say this is some more of like my skin tone kind of shade for sure but it doesn't look dark i don't feel like it does i feel it looks beautiful my under eyes look beautiful all right now for this kevin aquan contrast stick contour so i purchased mine like i mentioned and it's on the title of the video from beautylish fyi i love beautylish freaking shipping is amazing customer service is great beautylish like shout out to you guys because you got it down okay what shade did i pick up define and i think it's the second no i think it's the third to lightest shade yeah i didn't like is it oh no did they send the wrong one okay so my dumb butt 
we'll see if I can make this work. Um, I don't know why. I picked up the shade Define, which is the fourth darkest shade. I don't know how dark it actually goes, and I'll see if the formula is a tiny bit sheer. <sighs> I'm so annoyed with myself right now. Did I order this while I was... I don't know, but I am so annoyed with myself right now. I think I meant to pick up either Tone or Chiseled, which is... Tone is the second to lightest shade, and Chiseled is the second to darkest shade. I am... <sighs> okay. All right, so this retails for $53, and I'm going to read you about this product. Define, contour, and sculpt your face with Kevin Aquan's The Contrast Stick. This skincare-infused formula combines vitamin E, active sodium, hyaluronate, spheres, hyaluronate. I think that's how you pronounce that. Uh, argan oil, jojoba oil, and shea butter ester to deeply hydrate and smooth your skin. Developed by pro makeup artists using Kevin Aquan's theory for contouring, the smooth creamy matte formula allows you to sculpt with precision and enhance every angle to bring depth and structure to your face. That sounds wonderful, doesn't it? I really hope I can make this work because, gosh. Okay, so here is the component, and this has a 24 month shelf life, and it was made in Italia. Okay, so here is what it looks like very chic. It does have some weight to it. Do you see how dark that is? <sighs> Let me swatch it. That's dark as fudge. If I'm light-handed, I might be able to work. I'm gonna have to give to this, to my sister who's a lot darker than I am. I am just, what's wrong with me? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use this. It's a contour stick and I wanted to purchase the second to lightest shade or the third to lightest shade because I really wanted to see if they were actually a contouring kind of shade. I mean, Kevin Kwan is a makeup artist, so I'm hoping they are, but. <laughs> And let's see. Okay, so that's a lot that pulls out. How much is in here? 0 0.03, nine grams. Uh, is that 0 0.03 or point, 0 0.3 ounces? A lot more than Victoria Beckham, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to lightly apply this to my face. I honestly just really... Oh, this feels nice really nice and i'm gonna be very chiseled today bk beauty 111 okay that blended out pretty easy i would say the f yeah it's blending out like a dream i would say the formula is like a buildable kind of formula because you saw i didn't put that much and i'm actually making it work so i think if you're in between shades Maybe you'll be able to build it up. Like if you think you got a shade that's too dark, let me add a tiny bit more. Just, just for experimental purposes. Yeah, I'll. I'm gonna have to pick up the correct shade for me because I don't want to tread softly. I want to be able to enjoy this formula. But I would say that it's a little bit on the sheer side, and he created it to be more of a buildable kind of product because the fact that I can make this work for me kind of crazy. <laughs> I do feel like he could have come out with more shades I do feel like he could have maybe given us oh yeah see when I'm blending it it's it's sinking into the skin it's very soft it's a very interesting formula but I do feel like this shade particularly might look a tiny bit too muddy if I do put too much of it but that actually, that blended out like a dream. That was, doesn't feel sticky or balmy. Yeah, he probably should have given us more shades, maybe two more, at least two more, I feel like. Okay, and now for the color stick, stick blush. <laughs> I picked up the shade Awaken and he came out with three different shades. This one also retails for $53. It's just the color stick. Okay, so description here. Bring warmth 
and an instant ethereal glow to your skin with Kevin and Kwan's The Color Stick. This pigment-rich, ultra-creamy, lightweight blush offers buildable coverage and a skin-softening finish. Infused with skincare ingredients and micro droplets of color, it luxuriously blends into the skin for a sheer, natural-looking flush. Available in shades for every skin tone, awaken your complexion with a subtle, velvety stain. Simply blend into your cheeks with your fingertips, a sponge, or a brush for a hint of tint that lasts all day long. So three different shades and Awaken is described as a salmon pink with a velvet finish. What, see, on the pictures though, it doesn't look like a salmon pink. I would say it's more of like a terracotta pink. It didn't look too like orange pinky. At least not for me, it didn't. So far, A plus on the packaging. I do really like this. It's very chic it has weight to it the weight reminds me of like the victoria beckham yeah awaken salmon pink with a velvet finish i don't think it's a salmon pink but oh and it's a refillable package what? all right that's cool salmon pink We are going to apply this direct. Well, I don't even have bronze. Let me put bronze on hold. Okay, now we may proceed. <laughs> As you saw, I went in to the Vive Cream Bronzer. I love that bronzer. It is my number one favorite bronzer right now and I will be using that on my wedding day. So the texture of this formula is a hybrid for me from what I have tried between the Makeup by Mario Skin Enhancer and the Vive. It's like those two mixed together and it does dry down like I'm touching it and nothing's coming off the finger at least the contour has blended out like a dream and now we're gonna see with this blush because um i have a feeling it's gonna be just as good yeah there's no nothing on the stick no foundation no bronzer no nothing this is the sephora um 96 brush you could also pick it up from the stick if you don't want to apply it right onto your cheek, but just the way the formula is, I feel like it was gonna do okay when I did that. It blends out like a dream because it's a buildable kind of formula, meaning there's a tiny bit of sheerness to it. So you probably, that's either a thing you enjoy or a thing you don't enjoy. I prefer being able to build up my pigment versus having to tread softly because there's nothing more annoying than having to barely touch a product because too much pigment comes off, comes off of it. I am enjoying this shade. I think it's a beautiful shade. I'm happy I picked this one. There's only three. I wish he would have given us more shades to pick from, but hopefully that means more shades are coming. And my skin looks beautiful. I don't have any powder. I haven't powdered yet. Okay, that looks beautiful. Does not feel sticky. Does not feel balmy. That's gorgeous. It blended out so, so nice. And I worked applying straight on and dipping your brush in. Okay, before I powder, I just wanted to show you a look up close of what my skin is looking like. This concealer is looking so pretty. Haven't even set it down. No powder, nothing. And the blush looks beautiful. I do feel like my cheeks look pretty chiseled. Loving it. Okay, let me go ahead and finish off the face and i think we're going to attempt to use the cream blush on top of powder and see how that goes
Okay, eyes are done. I'll make sure to link everything I used down below. Now we're going to jump into this little sample. It's the Indescent, I think that's, yeah, Indescent Mascara. It's in the shade Black. It has a six month shelf life and it was made in Italia. All right, Mr. Uh, Kevin Aquan likes items that are made in Italy. My review is mostly on these two and the concealer. Okay, we'll see if I enjoy this wand. I'm not sure if I will, but we'll see how it is and how the formula is. I am pretty picky when it comes to my mascaras. I also use lash serum so that helps out my lashes tremendously okay it's not too wet which is nice this wand seems fitting to trying to get all of the lashes on there and then you can be precise with the tip of it i kind of like that okay okay mascara is on and it actually looks pretty good i might try to build it up a tiny bit more before i end this video but let me go ahead and add a tiny bit more of the blush this time i'm going to use the bk beauty 109 since i want to be more precise i just remembered why i don't like using the denissa myrix foundation too much the scent actually lingers from it and it's not my absolute favorite scent so Okay, but that's working beautifully on top of powder. Perfect. He also came out with highlighting sticks, but highlighter is one of the products I use the least of. So I decided to skip. Really, really, really pretty blush. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and finish off minor details. I'll be back and we can finish off this video. Okay, here is the full completed face. So, so pretty. Concealer is looking great. Okay, items I didn't record myself applying. The lips. I went in to the Melt Cosmetics Perfectionist Lip Pencil in Cinnamon and one of the new Chanel lipsticks in 150 E's. I'm pretty sure the review for the Chanel blush and this is coming before this video. And for the highlight, I went in and used my um, Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette in Light. And that's it. You hear my kids? All right, so what do I think about these new Kevin Aquan items? I love the formula. I think the formula is so interesting. I'm gonna have to pick up another shade for this bronzer. And like I said, I'll pass this down to my sister. She's darker than I am. And the formula is a pretty sheer formula. So I think, yeah, like I should be able to make this work, but I don't want to have to make it work. Like if I wanna go all out and just Mm, I want to be able to do that. I can't do that with this shade. I feel like if I add too much of it, it might look muddy. Yeah, the formula. The formula is so interesting. It's like a gel cream to powder hybrid because when you first touch it, it does feel like a gel. And then as soon as it starts absorbing into your skin, it turns to like a powder and it sticks down. I will, of course, keep using these items. You already know that I like to keep using new makeup that I try out at least for two more weeks as much as I can, just so I can really get a good feel about the product itself. The mascara, so far so good. We'll see if it flakes. Hopefully it doesn't. To me, that's usually the make or break is if it flakes or not. So yeah. Okay, Kevin Aquan. I do remember hearing Kevin Aquan being talked about when he came out with the Neo bronzer and the Neo blushes, but I haven't heard anyone talk about him since. And I feel like his makeup brand is a good makeup brand. And I will definitely try and keep dipping into the brand. I know uh, before this launch, he had some double-ended brushes and also some, uh, I think six, six pan small palettes. 
those just didn't call to me like these items did that's why i decided to skip those all right my lovelies well that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for being here i appreciate every single one of you you have no idea all the comments all the likes if you use my links to shop it truly does mean the world to me i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed me trying out the new goodies that i purchased from beautylish uh i love beautylish i feel like Beautylish does not get enough credit. They ship so quick. Um, yeah, just every experience I've had with them is wonderful. So if you don't shop from them, go check them out and see what they have to offer because there is a lot of amazing brands on there. Okay, well, with that being said, I would love it if you gave this video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it and you would definitely help me out in the algorithm of hopefully bringing some new or fresh eyes to my channel. And if you haven't done so already, I would love it if you joined my small YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button. I would love to have you. Okay, I will see you all on the next video. Bye.